Good evening and welcome to FU News. We have disturbing reports across the country of high schools, school districts, uh, entire states that are running out of money for school. Uh, some of them want to cut technical special needs programs. Some want to cut the arts, um, football, baseball, all sports. Um, this is a crisis and it's going on around the country. Uh, it's going on in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Kansas, and many, many other places. And this is something that I think that needs to be addressed. We have a on-site reporter in Erie, Pennsylvania. Lewis, what have you got for us? Thank you, Sam. As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day here in front of East High School. However, the City of Erie School District budget is not as sunny. Uh, this is one of three high schools proposed to be closed in the 2017-28 school year by Superintendent Adams, as well as recently passing a 4.3 deficit budget for the next school year, which to our understanding is against the law and we feel as though this is basically Superintendent Bams crying wolf in terms of Governor Wolf. Uh, however, in his defense, the superintendent has been to Harrisburg many times, pleading with many legislatures, pleading with many education directors, pleading with the governor himself in terms of fair funding for PA schools. So far, this event has fallen on deaf ears, and so the superintendent himself has taken to YouTube. Can we go to the video? Erie is not being fairly funded at this point. We, as, as a school district board and administration, have done our part in attempting to, uh, to right the financial situation of, the Erie, of Erie's public schools. This is just some of the major items Three buildings were closed. We had cut more than 200 full-time positions. Central administration was cut in half, and during the last several years, our employees have had little to no wage increases. Our median household income at $33,000 a year is 485th out of 500 school districts. That's the bottom 3%. Our economically disadvantaged, we're 12th in the state top three percent are English language learners, again top three. The same with the charter and our special ed is above average. So given that, you would think that our per pupil funding would be somewhere near the top or at least in the middle, but we're at the bottom. We can expect a declaration of financial distress in the short term, and we're saying two or three years, um, without significant reform to the Commonwealth's basic education funding formula. This isn't us saying this, this isn't Prague saying this. This is, this is a, a respected accounting firm doing a very thorough look at our finances, interviewing all of our financial staff, doing all sorts of background research. This is their conclusion. And there you have it. Reporting live from Erie, Pennsylvania for CATV News, I'm Lewis Prest. Back to you, Sam. Okay, thank you, Lewis. Uh, like I said, it's an ongoing problem. Students are uh, crowding in schools more and more every year. They're cutting teachers. They're running out of money. Are they really going to cut the school year uh, for the 2017-2018? Time will tell. FU News will be watching. Thank you, and good night.